you're looking in the cockpit and most of the avionics are wired and powered right now your sky view is up and running the, the Adahars is uh, in the nose of the airplane you can see what it would look like when it's moving I'm actually moving the Adahars that's the sky view real smooth movement compass very nice stuff now the radio is powered the um, transponder is powered Having a little trouble with the 150, the GPS, it doesn't seem to want to uh, power up. I don't know what's up with that. The warning system, it's a dual warning system. One's completely analog and the other is digital. It's for the landing gear. If I throttle up with the canopy open, you're going to get a really loud horn here, which I can silence. And also the, uh, uh, it's really bright, that one also. It's uh, the digital, it's the computer in the back talking forward and it's warning me that the gear is uh, angry right now it's not going to it's not going to uh, do anything until uh, the emergency conditions are met the intercom is powered I've had the headset hooked up and I can hear the radio there is a little bit of RF noise from the, the uh, sky view which I'm not real happy about I have to look into that and the uh, servo I can engage that you can I'll do it here. And that noise you heard was the servo engaging. And I'll do it again. You can watch the stick itself when the servo engages. It's trying to get the airplane level. So everything's functioning. So um, except for the GPS 150, all the avionics power is complete. And um, next, I think, will be the... Um, I'm going to hook up the... The stick, which is all the wires for the stick are right here. You can see this is a rat's nest at the moment. There is just stuff everywhere, and it's uh, it's coming together. It's routed well, and uh, once I tie up the wires, it'll be nice and clean. But we've got quite a lot of work yet to go.